Heart disease, cancer, respiratory illness. These are the leading causes of death for the average American. For some of our most vulnerable citizens, children ages one to 13, it's car crashes. Child Passenger Safety Week in September is as good an excuse as any to remind ourselves of the dangers kids face in and around cars. And with annual traffic fatalities overall projected to hit a decade high, it's an even better one. In 2015, 663 children 12 or younger died in car crashes. Well, that was less than half the total 40 years earlier. It was the highest since 2009. Meanwhile, studies show that some 600,000 infants to 12 year olds rode in cars without a car seat, booster seat, or seat belt. Among those who died in collisions, some 35% were not properly secured. Among those who were in a car seat or booster seat, nearly half the devices were installed incorrectly, diminishing their effectiveness. So what's proper? Using a correctly installed restraint appropriate to the child's age, height, and weight. Unsure how to go about this? Seek guidance from a professional in your area. Another issue that remains important as summer gives way to fall and beyond, vehicular heat stroke. Vehicular heat stroke spiked last year with nearly 40 deaths of children in hot cars. Keep in mind that in-car temperatures can rise from 80 to 110 degrees in just 20 minutes and that children's body temperatures can rise as much as five times faster than adults on its way to a deadly 104 degrees. Leaving a reminder in the back seat so that you don't forget they're back there, like your smartphone or purse, can help. Some automakers have begun offering automated rear seat reminders that sound chimes and even honk the horn if a child is left in the back seat. If you see a child who's been left alone in a car, call 911. Afraid of causing a scene or getting someone in trouble? With a child's life's at stake, I'd say that's why they coined the phrase, sorry, not sorry. 